don't expect it as much. Not I too early on. No, oh, not early on. No, not, not early, early on. on. Yeah. No, no, no. That wasn't. It's normally like fourth or something like that. Here so we yeah, go. So Naga, yeah. Warlock, Drow, maybe Ozzy. Cool. Cool. No, I believe every team's been banning IO against EG. Too. Against EG, yes. Just against, against NP, EG. not. Yeah. There it is. I think it'll be. There a, it is. Yeah, bang up. EG. I want to say it, it will be an IO Drow, but maybe NP has a, a certain strategy against it. No, I'll get MP. Warlock ban? Oh. Wait, in the best of one. No, first pick is uh, on, um, on NP. So, so they, they want to keep it. They want to keep it. Yeah, wait. Pick in it. the best of one NP had, did they have Drow or just Alchemist? They lost an Alchemist, right? I'm oh, actually thinking Northern Arena. Oh, you were there. You were casting. You were on the panel. Well, I wasn't casting. Yeah, I was yeah. just there. No, I mean, you were working it's hard. There's been a lot I of games. There's, there's been a lot up. of games played, Owen. <laughs> no, don't make me look dumb. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's about right. about she okay. talked about that one. Yeah. Yeah. So Warlock and Drow are still in the pool. Yep. Either one or both are going to get through. Warlock's better. Warlock is insane. He's better fatal, than Drow. People say. understanding how Fatal Bonds works now is uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> It's a good spell. It's an insanely good, like, people didn't realize, like, oh, it's a good late game. You get on five heroes, it's an insanely good laning spell. You throw it on a hero and two creeps, he, he just has to leave. Five seconds. You know, with the, with the kind of the, the popularity of, of Warlock, why are we not seeing, what happened to Zeus? You know what I mean? Surely that is, with Fatal Bonds is, is ridiculous. Is it just Zeus is just not Warlock. a good hero? Yes. It's just, <laughs> what, bad in laning stage is... Bad in laning stage, yeah. he gets... And people, like, the, the the whole raindrop argument, I mean, he takes the charges off really quick, right? But as a Zeus, you want to be getting the solo kills or kills around the map, and it, it slows down his early game, like, a so super So the raindrops amount. pretty much kind of stop. They definitely killed yeah. his early game momentum, yeah. which is what he's big for. I mean, Ben being the Zeus he player... He also has just yeah. no lane control in mid. You, you almost you always let them out. mid lane free farm. There's not that much you can do about it. Oh, oh, EG... And then with the ogre. Hmm. Nothing surprising. Another what? hero that uh, EG have been playing around with. Uh, are we going to see any Venomancers come through in this series? There's a. I know our tour wants to play it, and. We've we seen, we seen EG open with Ogre Venom before, yeah, we have. haven't we? We actually yeah, thought they were going to do it when we were casting last time, and they yeah. didn't. They just didn't want to pick it. Five seconds remaining. It's decent. It can do a lot of different things. Venom. Oh, there it is. Venom. Yep. Yeah. EG. They're the ones to make it big, right? They were the ones to start start picking it back. Yeah. yeah, complexity did it first with yeah. the Z Freak did like the level six at three minutes jungling or whatever in Dire, and now it's oh, it is Dire too. Huh. We've yeah. been seeing him pick it more on Radiant. It's a lot easier to not get contested, but even though they do every game. Five seconds remaining. So Team MP, they picked the Sven a lot, but I remember it's the Venomancer kind of destroyed their Sven strats yeah. because uh, it, he just controlled back. the Ancients and pushed out the lanes, and Sven like needs a lot of space to be able to farm his Ancients. So I would have been surprised if they had picked it, especially first phase. Juggernaut, they now they have double heal versus the Venom ult. Uh, I forget what game we saw this. It was Ten which team that remaining. played support Venom. It was DC. DC played support Venom, and yeah. they had double heal Five on the opposite team, and Venom pretty much did nothing the entire game in terms of damage. He might have done a lot of damage, but it always got healed back up. Yeah. Out the darks here. I haven't seen much of that lately. Uh, we saw... Them. I think um, OG played in a game. OG actually played it in a game where they had Warlock, Jug, and Dark Dark. I can't remember who it was against. They won the game, um, but they, they did run that kind of combo before. That was probably uh, against OG EG. At least. I think, was it against EG? Might have been. Maybe it would, yeah, I guess it would have been. Maybe EG going, well, OG did this against <laughs> us. We don't want to let MP yeah. do this against us. It was oh, yeah. a very strong draft. I think it was DC. Was it DC? Had so many good games, and they'll they'll blur together. Yeah, yeah. just love Dota. There's the Ursa ban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, EG's definitely been favoring that here in the third, fourth pick, like yeah. Fever said. Nothing too surprising. It seems like I think we saw it yesterday. Ogre's like the best second pick you can have, just all around great here. But you don't want to first pick it because you lose, you just lose a lot. He's not a first pick hero. It's strange. EG explained it better. Go watch the mod. <laughs> There's other priorities you have to have for the yeah, first exactly. pick, anyway. But Warlock, do you guys enjoy watching Warlock? I mean, we're going to be seeing him until the, the patch. I so. mean, the damage that's done with a good Fatal Bonds combo is quite satisfying to It watch. is, especially that yeah, NP one. That oh, one, so. boy. Yeah. I think also, Warlock, you know, you got that big team fight, one more combo potential, and that's always exciting to watch. And when it does happen, I mean, you that's what the clips are made of, right? Yeah, exactly. He's starting to see more and more counters, though. Wings used a Brewmaster. To try oh yeah. and counter the Radiant Warlock. I wouldn't be too surprised if EG pulled it out. 
Yeah, because what one of the Brewmaster summons has a spell that instantly does about three quarters of the the health of the golem, doesn't it? I'm you can sure purge off the quarters, you can purge off purge off the fatal bonds, but you can only do it one target at a time. And you can tornado. There's the definitely golem. one of the weird things that no one ever uses of the Brewmaster that yeah. spell, wipes it would be, it a would lot of the health of the golem. It'd be the wind panda then. The yeah, the it's something that the wind panda. Is I can't remember the spell name. Yeah, it's like wind walk. Yeah, it's not wind walk. It's some. It's not wind walk. Come on, some ben. some Come purging on. thing. Yeah. And then we see uh well Santar, oh. we've seen well, he has, NP play a lot. He only has two spells, the spell magic and wind walk. The wind panda. The, the spell magic he has does tornado damage. too. Oh yeah, and tornado. The spell, but the spell, spell magic, magic does the eight hundred and fifty. It does the damage to the, the eight hundred and fifty damage yeah. to yeah. the summon. Yeah, that's it, that's it, yeah. Clockwork Bando. I've seen D C E G play, it seems to be an NA thing. O G too. Oh gee, that's true. Oh yeah, they did it. They kind of like they first picked bad it, manner dude. picked it. Oh against yeah, them. yeah, yeah. The one. S4 clock. That was a great game. That was a really good. I think he's also great yeah. versus the warlock. You yeah. always just want to kill him before he can drop any of his spells. Yeah. But I don't know if they're going to be able to do that this game. It looks like they're going for more sustained damage. We haven't seen cores yet. But what about? Uh, do you think? He, he, uh, well, I guess MP more likely. Um, any chance we're going to see the old MSS Omni Knight come through? We saw it in a game before. Did very well in lane. I think you have to see Is the cores before you pick. That's like yeah. a fifth pick off lane hero. Yeah. Beastmaster for, for EG, making sure that obviously uh, MSS as well doesn't get his hands on that one. One that we saw him have a very good performance in that game, in fact, against E-Home, where they had a rocky start, but MSS yeah. was keeping it stable on his Beastmaster. And obviously, we saw the Axis and Fatal Pollen combo do do the massive de the amounts of damage in that defense. And it's great. If you're, if you're going to expect to be team fought, from NP side, it's great to have the vision with the Hawks to make sure where the Warlock is. Yeah. His positioning is so important for that hero. Beastmaster can easily disrupt that. He has a lot or of things. Reveal that. Yeah. yeah. He's he's just push team fight. He's all around good. He's also anti BKB versus the Juggernaut. Yes. Yeah. He can't split push as easily versus the Beastmaster. And also, uh, like Veno Core doesn't scale the best because he doesn't really do any physical damage. I have seen some butterfly builds, but. With the Ogre Magi and the Beastmaster, with the mass attack speed, with the Bloodlust and Inner Beast, like someone's going to be attacking at 200% attack speed, whoever your other core is. So that's that's always pretty nice going to the late game. <coughs> they buff up your other cores a ton. If you already got the Ogre Beastmaster, <laughs> I mean, you just have a bunch of stuff that just helps everyone else. Is this a game for the uh, SVG Classic, the Elder Titans, come through on MP? I don't want to say no to you because of what happened last time. Yeah, it's, <laughs> 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 it's really not that terrible. Just a. I don't think it works well. Warlock plus Elder Titan is a. It's a defensive. Support duo. It's really defensive, and you're going to be playing against a Venomancer. How how much armor does Elder Titan start with? Because he would be the guy who'd have to stop Venom if they do jungle. Oh, it's the MSS hero coming through first. That more team fight. Get that tied out. At this point, if you're EG, are you going to focus on getting more team fight yourself so that you can actually deal with NP, or are you going to focus on more split pushing so that you don't have to team fight at all? Good question. <laughs> I'm trying Bands. to. I mean, Tide Hunter Warlock already is that is so much. I mean, I don't think you can even pick two heroes right now that gives you more team fight. I think you always you always need more team fight though. Like you do, or you're just stalling until like like you get a Morphling or an AM something. You I could. think Morphling. I don't think Morphling. You, you Morphling, can't do Morphling they can't because Elder Titan would actually be really good in the fourth. But you'd have to last pick it. Yeah, I, I think Morphling. Yeah, wouldn't really Morphling good. be? Yeah, Morphling, Morphling would be really, really good for EG. Anyway. I think. Yeah, they've got no ways to really catch him on MP. Uh, Storm Spear's looking really good for Sumail as well. They've already committed one of the sports on Warlock. Doesn't really do that much to him. Tidehunter, I mean, you have to commit a Ravage. Even Juggernaut's not good versus him. Yeah, there's a lot of lack of uh, disables on, on both sides. Actually, maybe yeah. EG is a little bit better off with the Roar and the Ogre Magi. Yeah, at least they got Blast, yeah. But it's still, you know, the, the Fire Blast is such a short range, and you don't always want to use the Roar. I actually love this. NP was talking about on the couch yesterday. Like, Faceless, all they do is want to pick a... a Uphill defense and both teams have like insane uphill, uphill defense. OD. OD coming through. Something that the I feel we used to see a little bit more against Jug, but something that's always nice to have against that, yep. you know, that defensive mechanism against an Omni Slash, making it very hard for Jug to, to look for a good target to go for if uh, OD's in the neighborhood. He's also he can also drop the golem really fast, especially with all the attack speed. He's also pretty good at, at a tide. Like uh, the tide hunters recently haven't been getting blink as often, so they yeah. just like kind of walk into the fight. And He's most of the time, you can't stop his ravage, especially with the beastmaster roar. But with OD, you can you can keep him in place with the astral and then do whatever you want. You know, roar someone else, and you'll have a good amount of time to do whatever. Uh, but 
EG, they don't have to come into either team fight or split push. What they can also do is, like, they, when you see Warlock tied, it's like three minute, not three minutes, but close to three minutes cooldowns. So they, they can fight, like, every minute Ooh. much, much faster. Yeah. The SVG EG's Chen. Turn to ban. Hmm. They still have a support pick, so it's actually not that bad that Chen has come out already. If yeah. that Venomancer. Now that the Chen is picked up, is that Venomancer definitely going to be a core, or will it still be a jungle? Because I'm assuming that Chen can definitely disrupt Venom's jungle. I mean, because Arteezy did kind of joke the other day saying he wants to play the Venomancer. He enjoys playing. I mean, it, yeah. Yeah. Like you, is there a chance EG would let him play the safe lane Venom? Definitely. Yeah, against this? They would be, it can work? They'd be really all in with that, though. I don't think so. You don't I, think so? I think OD is like a really hard carry. Uh, in, in this game, but too. even in the late game, I mean, once Tidehunter and Warlock start, like, once you get the Midas on Warlock, like, he starts scaling up. I don't know. Venomance is pretty nasty, yeah. too. Like, he if is. you can actually kill the healing ward, uh. it's pretty dirty. Also, you it's need a, a good ban. You need, uh, <laughs> generally, you want a support that deals with the Chen creeps. Yeah. So, Witch Doctor, Crystal Maiden, Enchantress. Uh, what else? I think that's mostly it. Sometimes E.T. is picked, too. I think that's what NP is talking about. They're like, is there good chances of Venom? I mean, they still don't know themselves. So it's always fun to see what the other team thinks about yeah. it. Huh. I like that the, the Alka's band, E.G., has been losing a lot to that here. <sighs> so they My think hat. it is a core They Venom. think it's the Alka's yeah. Venom. The Alchemist band, thank goodness. I, I couldn't go, you know, another Alchemist game. Banning out the AA. I mean, are you, yeah, I guess they've got, what, three heals and, well, a tide that's going to be looking to build a mech, yeah. so hey, hey, Ice Blast would be pretty annoying. Yeah. Ten so what do they need now? Envy Hero. Marana's still out there. Invoker. Five a lot of heroes. I mean, obviously, OD's tough to lay against, but you're going to have a Chen possibly rotating middle, and Chen's yeah. really good, especially early against OD. Oh. OD wants to use his Astral to farm, but Husk if he uses it to could farm... Be good, too. I don't know. Well, what about the old uh, Razor? Dragon Knight. Uh, will be the, the, the melee, the melee razor. Just go to lane and just, you know, hit creeps. You're not going to win. You're not going to, like, dominate your lane. But uh, Well, tell that to Anna. Okay, I will. <laughs> Anna dominated the DK earlier this That's tournament. True. Well, I mean, you're not going to get, like, a solo kill. You're not going to go, yeah. like, You should get a solo kill. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, you should. We've seen crazier stuff. And he's going to get some help from the Chen Five probably as well. Remaining. And that is a killable lane now. Chen plus mm, even just one in the DK stun. Oh, here we go, huh? EG. If it is the Ultimate, Venom, yeah, it's, yeah, okay. So it is going to be support Venom. Support Venom. It's going to be what the mid Timber and RTZ safe lane OD. Hmm? Oh, yeah, it has so. to be yeah. the middle Timber. I yeah. think for his so, so it doesn't have to, but it's does really it good. mean that NP has to be very aggressive early game because they, that's the only way for them to punish the Venomancer jungle? Mm. You can trade it with the Chen farm. Chen yeah. doesn't farm as fast. Okay, as but then he can't gank as much. Chen doesn't need as yeah. much farm either, really, so it's, I think it's good for NP. Their, no. their lanes are already pretty strong, though. Warlock almost always wins yeah. his lane. I mean, is the Timbersaw not going to crush the DK in the mid lane? Oh, he should. Oh, yeah. he should. He should absolutely yeah. dominate him. If it is. I mean, to the point, yeah, I guess, uh, how do you deal with that if you're MP? You just say, no, all right. See, it is oh, okay, be no. Sumail. I so mean, they could still swap in game. They've tricked me before, <laughs> like three okay. minutes into the game. Oh, oh. And they could still also Sumil, uh, have Smil on safe lane. Yeah, I doubt. I don't think they will. No. Sumil's. But they could. They could. They could do RTZ safe lane Timber and Sumil yeah. mid OD. Or, oh, are they going to swap? You might. This might be a Timber Ogre duel off. Are they crazy now? That sounds too crazy. Too crazy. Too crazy. You don't think EG is that crazy? No. All right. It's fortress. So <laughs> mail calling to end. The what does that mean? Well, I'll translate this NA in all talk. What does end mean? pubs, end means just, just end the game. That's pretty much it. Everyone just spams. Usually it's GG end. You don't <laughs> just see the yeah, end, right? Is there a yeah, reason for capitalizing the E, the N, and lowercase d, or is this just That's some... Mike. Just That's Ike's Mike. That's Ike's Mike thing, yeah. 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 Some days are just spam and stuff. Yeah. I mean, have you ever flamed somebody in a pub? Or, you know, defend yourself against flame? I mean, you're just typing as quick as you can. Oh, Sometimes true, you hold yeah. the shift button down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you never use the caps lock. You always I have to manage the I'm not a cap blocker. I'm, no, no no. I'm a shifter. Yeah. That's for noobs, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a noob. <laughs> <laughs> That's like auto casting orbs, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. I bet they use caps lock in League of Legends, you know. Here we go. Some SVG. Uh, oh, Some oh, banter. Was coming. You should have seen the lobby chat, dude. The lobby Sumail chat. Sumail was just spamming, spamming rolls. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then Blaze is like, can you guys cut it with <laughs> it? And then. What is that? It's a unicorn. It's a unicorn. With a lightning thing on his unicorn horn yeah and a chen sumail's just he sumail is going he is showing Wait, no, he his is, emotes he is complimenting what's he come oh the chen yeah he's complimenting ah, the chen svg chen it's a lightning chen yep. ah. like, 
A lightning chen. <laughs> a lightning chen. <laughs> a lightning chen. Indeed. <laughs> it's a unicorn, a one of a kind chen. How how often do these guys? I mean, this whole I think the whole E G N P. Yeah. Even complexity D C and I think F D L like those five teams are going to be playing so many games and ev I mean we already saw the qualifiers right like those five teams just like hundreds of games versus each other scrims yeah. as well. It's going to be an interesting uh, nice, N A nice. off season per se after Boston. Wait, you don't roster. Roster locks don't undo after Boston. You do they? can change, yeah. I think between you can change until Boston the and the next major, and then you can change again after that major and TS. Yeah. 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 The question is how many changes we will see. Do you think we'll see much switch up in the NA? Oh. Or do you think these guys are going to go strong, strong at the Boston major? We're going to see. There's definitely going to be changes. Yeah. I don't think on think EG and NP are reasonably safe, but I'd say the teams below those could change. GG, well played. And this is a real classic. classic. What, what, what's the V spam from RTZ? He's classic going in guys, on the Vs. Man. Just faces. Just, oh, it's a face. It's like a like a duck. No, it's true. NP pauses at the beginning of every game as yeah. long as they can get away with it in any league. Any league they will pause at what's the beginning. The, what's the reason? What are they doing right now in the room? So they have a team that is, what is that has a lot of theory crafters in it. Yeah. And this is the perfect time to theory craft once you see the draft. What could possibly happen and all these scenarios that could possibly happen and Maybe. have an answer to them already. Or they're just trying to tilt Sumail, which could <laughs> be working. I honestly think it's smart. Just try to you tilt can tell Sumail. Sumail doesn't usually talk like this. You can tell he's in a good good spirits, good mood. If he's, he's all chatting down. this much, yeah. this is quite... This is definitely him. Not a, and here we go again. Right, what is happening? That's though? GG. It's a long pause here. Well, we are switching out a chair. Oh, is that what's going on? That is what's going on. How do you know? How do you know? Because it was said in the chat. Oh, I was too. Uh, look, I was busy, but looking at everything Need else. Need pause to change out a chair. Ah. Good we got someone watching. We're, we're looking the at the important, Yeah, you're watching yeah. the important <laughs> bit of chat. What, what is this? I just MSS crying. Because it's b -smart. It was b -smart. b -smart thing. MP strap pause end. Oh, yeah. So, Ben, who's, who's gonna, who do you favor right now, draft-wise? Deep side. MP early game, EG late game. But I, so what's oh, I, I would what's, say NP. What's NP's window? Like, do you think if they win their lanes, they're just good? To, they're just gonna keep snowballing? Yeah, tight kind of level six. Chen's really strong early. Yeah, like they need a lot of farm on the timber, a lot of farm on the OD. They got good high ground defense the, though. Both yeah. teams do. Yeah. Ven awards. I think. I think. EG, surely Bloodlusted OD is just so scary. Yeah, it is. I Especially once he gets like his third item, like a third yeah. item BKB. I mean, he'll be untouchable in, in fights. So is Warlock Tide, though. Warlock Tide's really nasty for team fights. What is this music? Is this some NA tunes? Yeah, right? it's yeah. just... No, that's actually Young Russian. Hun. Young Hearn's Russian. Oh, Young Hearn's Russian. Yeah, oh, okay. I've seen the Stoli music video. It's just Russian guys in tracksuits sipping Stoli in a boat. What's Stoli? Everyday life. It's vodka. Oh. We got I broken I know, chair problems. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So, what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> In other news, we're looking for new chair sponsors. <laughs> He's kidding. <laughs> yeah. He caught him. Cut his mic. <laughs> it's too swollen. Do we have a chair sponsor at all? Yeah, we're sponsored by, we're sponsored by right? DX Racer. Yeah. Yeah. Are we? Uh-huh. DX Racer's got, uh, provided... Oh, yeah. I, I imagine they provided oh us with God. all the chairs. He's just spamming out anime now. Kuroko no Basket. I think EG is just out of control right now. I think Blaze really yeah, needs to get into the room. That's just out of control. Blaze, you need to get him. Because I mean, Samael said, didn't he, if he loses to he's MP, gonna he'll, he's going to be on the anime hype train. And I told yeah. him I probably wouldn't be his friend after that. So okay. it's a lot of pressure So on he's him. playing for your... You're still MSS's French, yeah, friend. French. Yeah, but he was born into that lifestyle. <laughs> Samael's choosing it right now. He's also playing into the, into his, uh, for his sanity then. Uh, yeah, he is. He really is. This is an important but series. But let's be honest. Like, so, some of our childhood's best moments were Pokemon, right? And that's technically an anime. Yeah, yeah. It's a Pokemon's anime, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Ben, why are you being so sorry? I don't know the definition of anime. I mean, an really. animated cartoon, right? Animated cartoon, and then specific, preferably Does made in Asia somewhere. Does the word anime have one of those like French accents on the E? Oh. No. No. Well, did you know we're back in game? Oh, Get Shazam! <laughs> there we <laughs> go. Shazam? MSS remembers. Lamau. I actually, I really enjoyed that team. It's a good name, isn't it? It was a very good Shazam. name. Shazam. Wow! So, high Wizards of the... That one was I good, I saw too. the wow. The wow? wow? There was a wow on screen. Was the oh, I did not see the wow. So oh. Arteezy didn't swap heroes with okay. Sumail. Uh, they, they saw each other. And Hello. Sai has an iron talent. Ogre. Oh, going. Yeah. Ogre bought everything. He didn't get Windlay Sword and Orb of Venom. What did we see as uh, I did? It was like level six at two minutes fifty. 
Level it's five. Crazy. Level five. <laughs> Level, yeah. Oh, and he's going to do Ancients plus oh. the big camp. Okay, I actually like this switch over because they're going to be expecting him to do over by the small camp. Is the, yeah. th so this isn't necessarily faster, it's just safer. It's, than it's harder straight to... Jungle. Oh, but they're going to spot it out. They yeah. know. Yeah. They have they a ward already of the high ground. That is really That's clever. That's good for the Chen. That's smart. Yeah. So NP, I, I already like their start just because that ward and how EG wanted to maybe do Ancients. I mean, we'll but see. can't Crit kind of sit between here and mid and just make sure no one passes and kind of keep that area? He sure, but, but it then weakens then their safe lane yeah. a ton. Yeah. You can't really gank the Venno there. That's really hard to gank. Yeah, I mean, that too. But you can just sit there and take... If he's doing Ancients and he takes a minute to an Ancient, you just leech half of it. It's still definitely good. It's like the best thing. There we go. Some good luck, some half funds. Some DK just first item, the poor man shield. Yep. Not the Bassy this game. Not the not, not the DK Bassy. Not the DK Bassy. How does uh, how does Timber do against the Tide Hunter? He should still beat him reasonably well. Yes. Yeah. Melee That's strength. He, you, he has to get his quelling blade. I mean, assuming that that fine. ogre is just not going to show up on top lane at all to start. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, so they're now switching they're around. Yeah. Never mind that. So they're trying to rev what, what, who's avoiding what here? They're avoiding the Tide Hunter Timber matchup because yeah. Timber just destroys them. Yeah. Timber should do very very well in that lane. We do see it looks like the ogre already running up top, or is he going to play some wards? Let's see. Looks like he's going to ward, still has both. Yep, there we go. Yeah. And now I think this is the first time EG actually saw the lane swap, so Ortiz gets bullied out of lane already. So then there's a Beastmaster Tidehunter on bottom. That's uh, an even matchup. I think Tide wins it till what, level three or four? And then Beastmaster with the boar can just put a lot of work on him. Could be wrong. Ah, oh, tornado creeps. The wild wing right there. Oh yeah. Super annoying. And it's good because it means so he has a wild wing if he just wants to stack camps Chen, right now. Chen and Venno are already like at it. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Probably just Chen looking at him. Seems to be. Venno's taking a lot of damage. This is smart though. He zoned him out so he's doing full EXP, and he's gonna be level three almost already too. Oh, it's easy. He's not having a fun time up in this top lane either. And he's nearly through, well, the majority of his regen. Only one tango left. Yep. Crit finally came up to help him. Huh. That should be really good farm for Owie. Is there anything more that Chen can do to stop the Venom from farming there? And we've seen him going over again on the ball. Without sacrificing too far, too much of his own farm, I guess. If he already has a creep in mid, he's not really sacrificing that much by just sitting there leeching XP. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's like you, how do you, how do you really like, oh. attack him from up there? He got him. He might, got a mud goal. So he's manning up with the wards there. Oh, and he doesn't deny his own wards though, and they're just gonna get taken down. Free and gold. look at that! Oh my, is that the big golem that has like five HP? Oh yeah, he can finish that off. Can. And it's been, it? it's been stacked too, so he can't really. It's a really hard camp to take. Yeah. It, it will just take forever. Yep, this is just another smart play by NP. They're starting off in a good laning phase, of course. Golem stolen. Sumail's actually getting. I mean, this mid lane, Matt, Envy's yeah. doing fantastic, isn't he? Here at the moment. Eight for three against Sumail's four for four. That's really, really good for. He had, he had a wild one, dude. That's true. Just zoned yeah. him out. And there we see it. Oh my goodness. Tons of damage from level 1 Fatal Bonds, even. Yeah, oh. great to get the neutrals as well. Just more HP to take down. And there you go, Ben. You're right, MP. If they do the laning phase really well, which they're doing. And here we go. They're going to spin on crit, but they turn back onto our yeah, They're just scared. This is actually going to be rough. Good body blocks here. The Shadow Word here doesn't look to be enough, and indeed it's not as RTZ comes past with the chain. And EG getting themselves that first blood. So clearing up this lane up top, though, was starting to look at a bit of a mess. And RTZ actually going to switch it up. And uh, just get himself straight down to the bottom lane now. So he's he's getting the matchup against the Tide. The question is, do, do MP then react to that and send someone else down there, or do they just let Artor have his way with the Tide Hunter? I'm actually. They need to make sure that they don't lose their offlane too hard. It's it's sometimes risky running into offlane because they just sent three people up there. Zai he got pushed out by the Chen and then came out down there, so they can't afford to have the Warlock not be able to pull and not get XP. So it depends on where, what what their priorities are for the Warlock. It looks like he's gonna go down bottom. It's much safer for him. He's not going to die there. They need his level 6 so they can fight with the Tide. You want them kind of around the same time. I, and, I, I, and I do like, it, like EG, they've switched everything up. You oh know, right we, we sent Artor down to bottom. You've sent the Beastmaster now into the jungle. And you've now given Zai that top lane to play with on the Venomancer. Yeah, they're going to do a lot of levels, but it looks like Ortiz could be in trouble. Yes, yeah, yeah, so one chain should be enough. Causing huge Fine. nuisances for RTZ. So they're, now they're having the Chen like have to react to the lines. So he has to like go 
like react to the Venno Ancient. He has to go react to this lane change to make sure that the Tidehunter is secured. And this will slow down the channel a lot. It's not really great for him to have to move around the map so much and not get any kills. Venno well, went solo safely now with yeah. Beastmaster going jungle. So they, they're giving they're giving this crit a lot of space. I think it's smart because a Venomancer can do a far better job than a Beastmaster at zoning out a, a Juggernaut. It's also much less important if he dies. If he dies, eh. It's just, it's just a Venno. And they're going to have to come in a lot. It's, it's just not easy to approach him at this point. They have no slows to get to him. Look at the level chart. That is extremely good for the Dire side. Yeah. And they don't have any wards set up anymore. MP does not. They just have the one ancient ward that No Zai's, one's even using yeah, anymore. They don't really. Using, so. They don't really know where where to gank right now, who's doing what. Beastmaster is going to hit the six levels soon. And it could, their issues could compound. In the mid lane matchup, Samael's caught up with Envy. Uh, both pretty much neck and neck, 23 they're 26. Smoking around. Oh, they're making sure also that the Warlock is not going to get anything. Oh, they've got some good creatures as well, two troll traps. The double net. This could be annoying, but Crit is there for backup. Oh, Warlock died! Ah, he lives. So close. Out. Just waiting on middle. Are it's gonna, it's a like hard gank, go isn't it, with with both of these heroes? Yeah. And he's yeah. bloodlusted. Yeah. He's out. They had to wait for the astral, and then they had this, that happened. He just backed off. So another field gank for the Chen, but turn into a push. Tower. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be tough. Yeah, if they commit even another hero, they get no, back out. Was I seeping any? I actually already used the ultimate for that killer attempt up top on Warlock that she mentioned. But mid lane. MP coming in now, he with good Blade Fury to follow up the Troll Trap there. He's going to take down the Venno now with a second trap crit. Oh. Potentially trouble as well, Samel. Trying to do his best to hold them back with the Astral. Oh. So we're going to have a quick pause here, Arteezy. Omni um, Slash is available. It is, they have to be careful. And they know that the Astral's on cooldown now. They didn't defensively Astral to Venno. I thought they might have right there. Because Did he have ult? No, he, he, as, as he used it top when uh, oh, okay. the Warlock yeah. was forced to TP out. Yeah. I think they're just stacking him. But that gave Juggernaut his level 6, and now True. a different people careful. could die. Is Beastmaster at least taking the tower up bottom, or is he just controlling the lane? Because he should be able it. to take it. Yeah. yeah. They're going to trade probably one for one towers. Yeah. You think uh, RTZ is going to teleport, though? Is like He, he doesn't have mana. Well, he has a mango, I guess. He has a mango and a teleport uh, available. He can't really defend middle And there's all. an OD. Free mana battery. True. Unless you just use a skill and then you don't get mana. Yeah, unless you get a lucky. Then you're in trouble. Uh, just bloodlust the tower cliff it. I yeah. think you make sure that you get bottom tower. Okay. Because if he goes middle lane, then the Tidehunter's going to get free XP and farm. Okay. They nice have healing really. ward, though, so it might be a little bit difficult. But I don't know. There's not that many creeps left. They're fine. Bloodlust is good. It's a pretty good spell at defending, especially yeah. this early in the game. We saw it, it helps Sumail avoid what, like two ganks already? Just that insane move speed. And he's lost his creeps. Yeah. Well, you get, a, you get a one for zero tower trade for EG, it's really good for him. And only losing Venom. Uh -oh. Or so be careful, Al, we've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> now you got his face now. It's good though, Warlock is trying to get that solo experience top. He really needs it, he was far behind. Now at least he's level four. They know both of them are there, though. Yeah. I wonder how, what they're going to do about it. How close is Beast? Oh, Beastmaster is already six, actually. So he's he needs to get mana, which he's doing. It's time. Time to start a killing. Um. Okay, I got confused there. Why? Because Crit has his teleport effect to say DC when he teleports in. And oh, he's got the thing because like, he's got the wait, full what? DC card collection. <laughs> just troll yeah, he yeah. got the full DC card collection. <laughs> DC just TPing into this game. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Zai pretty farmed already. Looks like he's going to Mac build it. Yeah. It's pretty standard to support Venno. Middle lane looks like Sumail is actually caught up. I mean, Envy was definitely winning that laning phase like the first five or so waves, but net worth. In favor, obviously, the tower, too. Chen's deep in the dire base. He's very deep. Oh. What's happening here? Looking for a courier? Potentially, he's got the trap to, to trap it. I think he's just rotating without them noticing. Yep. Bottom lane, MSS getting fairly low. Arteezy is going to back up. Top lane, they're going to go into the gank. They were smoked up. Universe, Crit, and Samel moving into join Zai. They've caught out Rose. They'll take the Warlock. And they get themselves anything more. That's the question. Now he still has Omni Slash. Samel thinking about going in. Holds nice. the Titan to back as he TPs through. Didn't quite have enough mana, though, either way for a Ravage. But EG get themselves a kill and get themselves out. 
It's just the support though. MP looked to use this opportunity to move back to the free mid lane and uh, we'll probably find this tier one. Samael's on his way back, but no one else coming to help out. So MP get themselves a tower, but they do lose the support. Yeah, I'm not really sure where SPG is rotating to, but it worked out because they got the middle tower because of it. They might be able to do something about uh, Arteezy in their jungle. He's been having a good old time. He's quite hard. Uh, they have no catch. Yeah, he's got three. They have a net. They don't even have. No, they have one net. But he's got the chain. He's got three points in the, oh, the reactive armor. Oh. <laughs> Chen's not level the body six. block. SVG taking oh. quite a punch, but just melting them. Yeah. Arteezy can't finish it quite off. They're really living through the warlock this game, though. They, they've killed him twice. He's still not six. I mean, he can easily pick it up at ten, but the offlane was supposed to be a win for MP, or at least they thought it was with the way the start was going, with RTZ getting really low early. But EG have made the necessary rotations to uh, shut them down and open up their own jungle in the meantime. So I think this this early game is a really big success for EG. They've really limited the Chen. They've limited the farm of their cores too. I guess DK got a free tower, but other than that, like Juggernaut's really low on net worth. Well, this uh, net worth graph is definitely looking grim for NP. Yeah, they we need to see how they use their first rock and their up right now. If they, if they just lose a fight with their first rock, it could actually just no pressure. spell game. And it's really hard to lose yeah, with your first rock, yeah. though. But if there's any team that can do it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we go. They're just pushing them up. And this is what they're going to do. Just bully towers with DK and both big ultimates. Yeah. Now that they're like, forced to do something about it. If they don't, they'll just lose two towers. Bloodlust won't be enough to save them this time. Right there, he's just Oh, they're chilling. teleporting in the middle of it, though. AG want to do something about this. They'll throw the Gale out. Dragon Tail from MV to hold back hard tour, but they react with the raw straight in. There's your Ravage from MSS trying to allow um, them to get MV out. He's being healed up by the Shadow Word. And, uh, will be sent home as well. So he survives, but indeed they had to drop the rock for this one. Oh. They'll end up losing the Golem. And this is not the fight that MP Bad. wanted. They used the Ravage, they so. used the Golem. Shiva said if there was going to be a team to do it, it would be wow. MP, and it looked like it exactly ends up being that way. As SVG trapped one. back, he falls as well. EG take the fight, but it is MP committing those two big ults that, as you said, Ben, they needed to make something happen with, and it didn't happen. That rock did nothing. They also didn't have Junk there. Yeah. Oh. He hasn't used his first ultimate yet either, which is yeah. surprising. He's trying to catch up on farm, but they really needed that. Because they're not going to be able to approach a tower for a really long time. That T1's already down on bottom. They, they only really get one shot at them in the early game. And now they blew it. They blew both their ultimates. EG didn't lose a single hero. He's going to have a mech next fight. Yeah, it's a disaster. Now they didn't even need to use the poison over from, from Zai. He's still got that. Yeah. I like, you could tell Universe, like, winning with, he just... All crit. His ultimate. Oh, he's Could in be trouble. in trouble. There's going to be TPs coming through. Now he, yeah, he's just going to back and run. And with some mail coming in, it's, it's a good move from MP. They need to get themselves out of here. Some mail. Now he's just going to go for straight TP out. Oh, the oh. must have just come back off cooldown as well, as it was used on the bottom lane. Oi, oi, oi. Jug did not expect that one. That must have literally just come back off. It was yes. unnecessary. He could have just split him and walked away. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes you go for like space creating well I think the reason he did that is he ran into spin because he saw Sumail at the four step and he would have been like that forward he would have been really close to the team one that's true Envy's just coming for a for quick spam and brief fire but immediately EG just closed in onto him the shadow word heal is not going to be enough as Envy loses his life on that top tier one defense EG take the tower and it's all starting to spiral pretty quickly out of control now for MP the net worth of Samael getting massively out of hands as he towers ahead of any of the members of MP. A clear 2k above Envy now at this stage, 12 minutes in. That's the problem you pick two big ults, right? You depend yeah. on both of them early. Yeah. Yeah, I, whoever called the lane switching from EG, that that's like kind of yeah, won that, them that lane game. movement at the start, all three of them moving around. Because yeah. he, he just managed to get everyone to the point that they needed to be, as you said, Ben. We're looking at the net worths, and you could see just across the board, EG's players were all in a much better position relatively. We haven't even really seen Arteezy in these, like, we saw him in that fight bottom a little bit, but he's just been farming the last, like, three, four minutes now. Yeah. And, 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 and MP just had no idea what to do oh, in the oh, early game. They... Oh! Oh! No. Okay. Uh, well, we crit there, it should do... No. Oh, oh! What? Okay. Oh, okay do you get a Samael kill? So that's a trade that MP certainly will take. Zai has his ulti available. Perhaps he still wants to fight. Uh, without... So that would be questionable. Because they have the uh, the healing ward as well as channel. But they'll take that. Well, they lose MSS, they lose a Ravage, but they get a big kill. That's somehow getting brought down. Is Timur building pipe? 
Or is it just going for blood? Yeah, th that's a really early bloodstone too. Yeah, they're gonna have all the items they need. They already have like the he bought out. mech very soon on Venno, the Vlads on the Beastmaster, and the Force Staff on the on the OD. So they already have like all their team items. I don't actually think they are at a disadvantage at team fights, or team fights anymore. No. I think they just have to play a little safer with their own disadvantage. Cores are that almost catching bad. up yeah. to the Zai Venomen. So There's a chance EG, maybe worse. when OD's alive, just go for Roshan without Ravage up. They take it really quick with Beastmaster. Yeah, I think they could do it. So he loves top up. They're doing a fine job of like splitting out the lanes right now. He doesn't have Omni Slug. Oh, Universe has roll. Got him. Owie. Is there enough damage? And it, there's no time for backup to come into. He drops a healing ward with the damage from Samael. Oh. Okay, the Kyori offering does come in, and that's actually going to allow this potential to turn this one around. Yes, the melee universe have to run. The net creep, trying. But almost all of their their four times that they cast their big ultimates have all it's been to defensive. Save people. Yeah. yeah. So that's it's not a good sign. They can try and transition to a push, but it's still not going to be what they're looking for. Only two kills to their name. They they still have some upside, but they need to be able to use them use them all together. Is that how it's supposed to work, though? You don't take damage from OD if you spin right out of it. It's kind of, kind of odd. I don't think they didn't take damage. There's from the some heroes you can do that with, some heroes yeah. you can't. Obviously, the obvious one you definitely can do is is with Nyx Assassin. Well, trade a tier one for a tier one. It looks like. Oh, he's gonna be building magic resistance. Oh boy. He's so fat. Like he is more farmed than the mid. Yeah. Sorry. And we even tried to contest him early. Yeah. Oh, they just killed the warlock and the golem. And the creep to boot as well. Yeah. Or did it still? Or did it still? F I guess it still. No, I still died, but it died in the uh -oh, base. Oh, I'm having a little bit of trouble. Uh, a lot of bit of trouble. Take down the tide. Okay, let's be real. How are they gonna get back from this? They need to use all the ults. Perfect. Big though. team fights with fatal pots. Yeah. Pretty much what they did for Sea Home. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Envy. Oh. 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 Missed his timber chain. Hey, the turnaround. Radiant's middle tower is under the top. Well, what do we call the turnaround? Well, they kept him alive. <laughs> well, they, 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 <laughs> they definitely kept turned around and yeah. ran away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and right back to the base. <laughs> Juggernaut. <clears throat> it's better than dying. This is true. AY farming uh, enemy oh. jungles. Hello. Safest place where you can farm. Universe. Oh, hello. Can you, can you toy around with this now? He didn't see it, I think. Nice is it time. just outside of the base? Yeah. He's close. They don't have any damage. Without the... They just have tower push, big ultimates, and then a... Uh, if, if Juggernaut gets enough farm, they will. But he's going to have to play a perfect game now. Yeah. I don't know what item you get to, to salvage the early game, though. Like, he has Yasha right now. Uh-oh. Oh, SVG. We are going to hit... No backup will be coming into this tower for him. As uh, EG will burn him out with the ignite. And 10 for 2. EG continuing this momentum into the pit as well. Uh, even though MP, they do have Ravage up. Just not in a position to contest this. Though. They EG don't have any vision free. either. Look at look at the vision or alone from EG. If anything, if MP would make a move, they would know about it yeah. as well. And they yeah. and they are ready. It's really <coughs> I noticed uh, Crit's actually leveling Knights. I said if he ever played Ogre, he's doing the 1-1-4 the one, one, stats build. That's interesting. Why do you think he leveled Ignite? You don't really need it that bad. Just cause? Yeah, why not? It's not like he's gonna die, really. Yeah. They don't have True. damage. Juggernaut just has Yasha. There's no BKB, you can kite people around, slow down. He missed down the last hit because of it, though. <laughs> And I did a little too much damage. Well, here's the small game. This Ooh. could be this is the big fight. They want to use those elves. This has to be it. We see the drawing. They want to go into their own jungle and, and root them out. They're fighting into a Samael Aegis. Uh, yeah, this he's is, out in front. This is scary. Mm -hmm. And EG, they've got their elves. They have the, the Sanities. They have Poison Nova. No ogre. So EG are going to need a per... Uh, MP are going to need a perfect jump in. Well, they've revealed themselves. Looking for RTZ first. They'll drop the Chaotic Offering. It does catch two. They're trying to focus the Timbersaw. But the thing is, can they actually kill him? He's, he's living. He turns around with the Shakram. RTZ ticking down the Shadow Word. He'll finally fall. Well, he's back in eight seconds. Uh, Shamel drops the Sanity's Eclipse. He's still got that Aegis to work with. MP, have to be careful here. They're going to end up losing heroes themselves as Envy is turned upon by EG. Sliding forward, looking for more. Samael's got the Astral onto SVG to set up. Aoi tries to TP out. He will make it. SVG not going to be as lucky. 
as that was the attempt from MP with the ultimate, and it does not pay off. They get RTZ, but they lose two, and they fail to, to take that Aegis away from Sameo. I was like the tankiest person they could find, and also that was the first uh, Venom that I had that was level two. I did a lot of work. Boy, indeed. Yeah. I think yeah. that was... Sumail even aimed the wrong hero. He's just right-clicking the tide after the ult. So he's like, just stacking up. Look at how many... Oh my. He has a lot of intelligence. Plus 40. <laughs> oh, Smart young man. Goodness. Smartest kid in the team at the moment. Well, no ultimates available on the side of MP. I mean, there's no there's no tier 2 tower on the bottom as well. Can they just rotate bot and take those racks as well? It's yeah. very hard for MP to stop a push like this. Isn't they don't have their ultimates. They already they're lost. They already lost the fight, and I think the game yeah. at this point. Hurricane pie, boys. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Ouchers. Yep. That's a good eye. GG. GG. GG plus yeah. 64 yeah. intel on Samael at the end of that 19 one. 19 minutes. I think the good game was when they swapped the lanes, and then MP had no response. They they had two attack points. One was top lane dealing with the Timber Cell, and one was the Ancients, where they dealt with the Venom. That was Chen's job. And they did a very good job of that, but as soon as they, as soon as Zai had to go home and heal, TP top, killed the Warlock, and then they all swapped lanes, and he had no idea what to do. And yeah. they lost like the next like they just six, seven minutes of the game. Yeah, they, they, they just didn't know how to react. They were not fast enough at adapting at all. Yeah, and it seemed like they felt that the only